so what are we doing? We're looking at a flea market, of course, because we believe in high quality for a low price. And if you want that, well, the flea market might be your kind of place. We're going to find out. So come on in with us, will you? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. This way. Yeah, it's okay. It's not too scary. Besides, I got the club on the car so it won't be stolen. Hey, you, get away from my car. Steel. It's not. It's not a flash gold. It's not electric. Electric lady. Hi there. We're here with a good friend of mine here at the uh, Alabama Fairgrounds and uh, at the flea market. What's your name, sir? Tex Duncan. Tex. My name's Bill. Bill Babb. Glad to know you. Beep TV. What do you got here? I know you got some very nice 14 karat gold stuff. And, well, uh, we. I make gold custom made. I make it as much in, as much as you want. Do you, do you dig it up? Do you dig it up out of the ground? And no, no. We, it's not an old one. I. Uh, I can't think of the name. <laughs> okay, don't don't worry about it. We, nobody was really listening. Uh, take take both your hands and go like this. There you go. Big smile. Can you make it bigger? Okay, that's big enough. How about you? Can you make a big smile? Really? As big as you can go? Come on, more, more. Give me more. Perfect. If you've ever had a hankering for cinnamon or aloe vera or uh, burnt sugar extract, you're, you're at the right place if you're at the Watkins booth here at the uh, flea grounds, flea grounds or fairgrounds with fairgrounds. the Birmingham, Alabama fairgrounds with the uh, flea market. Yes, absolutely. But you don't sell fleas. No, no. You sell lots of unusual things like burnt sugar and raspberry extracts. And I saw one called brandy extract. Is that sort of like alcoholic? Kind of like alcoholic, but not no. It's no. A no, it's kind of, but no. So, <laughs> we what, what's your name, ma'am? Loretta Whitehurst. Loretta, that's Loretta Whitehurst, my my buddy. Yes. Yeah, she she said my hair looked fine a minute ago. Does it? It looks absolutely beautiful. But you know, that's your husband, right? Yes, it is. He he said my chest hair needed combing. Do you think so? <laughs> oh, I think it's great. See, <laughs> Loretta knows greatness when she sees it. Now, absolutely. Now, right here, you got what's this? A Santa worm? Is that part of that's the Watkins a, line? That's a Christmas object that's um, not part of one. It's, it's a Christmas it's, object? There's not another company in the United States that can trace back a guarantee further than Watkins. He would leave it with you. If you used it up to here and didn't like it, you didn't have to pay it. He'd pick it back up. But what if somebody break it down to here and didn't like it? Th then you pay for it. Oh, well, that makes sense. You, right you, you drink 50% of it, you know. It's yours. It's yours. Right. It but says if you, the trial mark right there. And then, you use it to there, but it's, it's not... What's in it? What's in it? You don't know what's in it. Let's see, it's got uh, roaches. No, it doesn't have roaches. I was kidding. Alcohol, 47%. All right, I think this, <laughs> I think this would pretty lubricate you. Uh, caution, do not apply to irritated skin. Avoid getting into eyes or mucous membranes if pain or condition persists for more than 10 days. Wow, consult a physician immediately. This sounds sort of dangerous. Uh, it's not for kids, is it? No, it's not for kids. It's for old people. Yes, it's when your knees get sore and you've been working in the garden and you, you get your, if your husband's working outside, it's a good way to get him to do whatever you want outside because when he comes in after he takes a shower, you give him a real good back rub with this. and You can, you can rub your work. back, you can rub your back with it and you can drink it? No, you don't drink this. You don't drink liniment. But no, I was thinking you drink it. You don't, you don't no, drink it? No. Well, but they, what's the point of having all that alcohol in there? I don't know. That's a good question. But so you rub it on your knees? On your knees, on your back, on your Anywhere arm. in your body? Not in your eyes. No, I said not to put <laughs> not it on your, your eyes, eyes. But anywhere else is fair game. Yes. <laughs> but you're famous now. How does that feel? I don't feel good. Well, you shouldn't do that then. Went over, there were about 35 dealers, and we have going on 500 dealers inside and outside in about three different buildings. So, And you pretty much cover the gamut of all kinds of stuff. You can find anything here. You can find sneakers and socks, or you can find uh, an antique watch, or you can find a crystal glass, or a baseball card. Why do you keep bothering me? Pardon me? <laughs> Why do you come to the flea market? Uh, uh, great prices and discount values. Why do you keep bothering me? Look up there. Say hi. Can you say hi? You see the camera? Can you say booger? Can you say booger? Say hello. 
you say worm? Can you grin? Can you walk away in fear? Who about a little kid? That's, that's a, a all right, that was a little kid. Uh, well, now you saw a little kid at the uh, flea market. It had a little price tag on the back of its head, two bucks or best offer. So, obviously, because it's mute. Uh, anyway, we're done. We're gone. We're out of here. Flea market, we are out of here because we're going home now. Why? Because we've seen enough fleas. We've, we've seen enough junk uh, and stuff. There's some real bargains and wonders here. Uh, seen rocks and stuff. So buy from the uh, flea market here in beautiful, uh, where are we? I keep forgetting where we're at. We're at the uh, fairgrounds. There we are. We're at the Birmingham fairgrounds with the uh, flea market. Bye! Hi boys and girls, it's Ricky Raccoon. And, uh, there is a horse. Yeah. Today we're going to talk about the problems confronting young men in America today. Yep. Namely, pretty girls who smoke. Yeah, that's who sad. Who wants that? Yeah, it's pretty sad. So we're going to do a dramatization on it. Yep. I'll be playing the part of the cute girl. Have you noticed I play a lot of parts of girls? Anyway. I didn't want to say anything, but. Uh, uh, I'll be playing the part of the young, attractive girl because I'm so cute. And uh, Harry will be the part, doing the part of the young man who's really turned off the, by the cigarette smokers. The studly guy. Okay, I gotta go get in character. Yeah. Oh, we got a prop for this one. I'm already in character now. Yeah, yeah. You ain't studly. I'm a stud horse. No, you're not. You're disgusting. You're just, you're all furry and everything. But I'm hungry like a... Okay, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm cute and I'm available, but I'm stupid and smoking a cigarette. I'm stupid. Where's your wig, man? I don't have a wig. Oh, hey, uh, oh, I'm so cute. Oh, I'm so cute. my, she is so cute. I would love to ask her on the, a date and and get to know her. But, <laughs> oh, God, she's a smoker. I'm going to puke. <laughs> blah, blah. <laughs> Hi, I'm so cute, and I smoked a cigarette. Why I go out with me? Not particularly. Your voice sounds scratchy, and I'll bet you taste like an ashtray. <laughs> Bye. Uh, nobody likes me because I smoke. I guess I'll quit. I can get the damn thing off me. There it goes. Oh, oh yeah. End of uh, the uh, dramatization part. Yeah. <laughs> As if you couldn't tell. Anyway, uh, this... If you're cute, don't smoke, please. Yeah, even if you're a guy. Right. Well, I no, care. if you're a guy, go ahead, smoke. I don't care. Get yeah. lung cancer. That's I'm more going... for us, because we don't smoke. <laughs> Good point. So if you're a cute girl, and most girls are, doesn't take a whole lot to be cute, I've noticed. Don't, don't waste your beauty and your cuteness on uh, nicotine, man. Don't uh, do it. it. It makes your breath stink. Be beautiful on the inside, too. It makes you don't your, need brown, grody lungs. It makes your teeth all yellow. And it makes your breath stink. <sighs> I will never, ever French kiss another girl who smokes. It was disgusting. Another? Well... She saw me at the gallery. I mean, the gallery. Oh my and, uh, God! I can't believe this squirrel. Well, she was she was cute. Raccoon. But she she had cigarette breath. So remember, don't smoke. Save your money Jeez. and do something useful, like like buy buy cute raccoons uh, presents. Or horses. Yeah, because we care about you, the cute girls of America. Don't smoke. And don't start. And if you are started, stop. Just stop. Because you know, it will make you feel better. And, and taste better. And taste a lot better because, gosh, there's something about the tongue of a smoker. It just tastes bleh. So, uh, I'll see you later, Harry. Oh, you want to go to the mall and see if there's some young girls there that aren't uh, smoking? Sure, let's go. Let's get Beeb to give us a ride. Come here, Beeb. <laughs> no, no, no. Get away. You guys stink up the car. At least we don't smoke. Okay, you can go. All right. What America means to me, William Beth. America means a pretty darn nice place to live compared to Borneo, com compared to Somalia, compared to Mexico, compared to Canada, where it's cold all the time. America 
is more than a geographic location on some globe that most sixth graders can't even find. America is a big word. It's a big land full of big people like me. And that's why I love America. That we have the goofiest damn cameraman in the world. Can't hold a, can't hold a camera steady for a damn. Certainly can't stay quiet. I want to have to hit you. But that's what America means to me. That and where any young man can get a job as a cameraman that doesn't giggle like a fool. I'm here, you. I'm here.